Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk and the future trading. Uh, we had a new signal uh, just a few minutes ago, and we are already hit the target. We had some mixed up with the, uh, the uh, live YouTube. So let me resend the link uh, to some of the traders are looking for us. Um, uh, and then uh, what we will do today, uh, for the ones that just uh, join us, uh, you will follow the, uh, you will follow the signals uh, from here, the first column, and then it gives you the direction. This is based on three different automated trade you're looking at. Then you have uh, uh, the entry price target. As as an example, we have an entry price twenty seven eighty seven twenty five. And uh, the target is 2800. We just hit the target and it shows it hit the target. And then uh, we got 52 ticks on this one here. Uh, the NASDAQ entry is um, um, 7195, target 7247.25, uh, nailed 185 ticks. And then uh, the YM entry uh, nailed. 76 on and all right now uh, from 9 30 we have uh, 500 ticks based on the last entry signal it's not all day based on the last entry signal and as you see right now the es hit exactly to the target and will try to help you uh, find uh, your um, re-entry points and everything and there uh, the market analyzer is based on one uh, contract and uh, based on one minute only uh, the same thing you can do with the stocks and the uh, uh, Forex one minute, and then you have the entry target, target, and, and pips. As an example, right now, we have a lot of targets has hit. And uh, the market analyzer is based on a micro account, and right now we have uh, 140 pips in the profit on the Forex. Then we have the, the scalper here. We show everything. Uh, we have a very hard day on the NASDAQ earlier today. And uh, we got beat up on the NASDAQ with the scalper. Welcome to trading. And then here do you have the swing trading on the um, uh, on the Ninja Trader 8. Uh, this is a third system. So this is a fully automated or an ATM strategy, the market analyzer and the blue chart. Uh, then uh, also this one here, it can be full automated or ATM. Then you have the scalpers. They're also full automated, and then the swing trading is full automated. None of the stuff uh, require um, uh, uh, optimization, setting, tweaking. None of that is so just turn off and turn on. So this is um, this is a uh, very easy, friendly used. Uh, the only thing we expect in the trader uh, to um, uh, to learn the rhythm in the market and uh, we will be um, you know st uh, I don't like uh, some of you has been in some rooms and they say I call the trade and all this and uh, you follow they claim they have a hundred takes and then uh, you follow everything but you don't get the hundred takes uh, here you follow as long as at your own risk you follow the signals from the first column I don't have to say anything. You can follow the signals from anywhere you want. And then we're gonna put something in here. If you want it to be on the re-entry side, if you would like to have a re-entry side, I will be marking a chart for you here. So you can see where there is a possibility on the re-entry side. What it is, I'm trying to make it as clear as possible and there is no gaming in here 100 percent transparent and um, i don't want to say we have a trade here or here as long as you understand we're not collecting any information we're not collecting money we're not collecting your email uh, we are just trying to help you uh, you have no commitments uh, so uh, if you want to follow us please follow us on a on a sim we're not responsible for your trade you like us, you're very welcome to follow us every day, uh, uh, except on Monday. Uh, for our traders, uh, Monday webinar, uh, by accident, I have changed the link. 
And for the ones that want to attend the webinars on Monday, uh, they need to get the new link. Uh, the, the old link was expired. Again, uh, the, our members on Monday, only members, uh, the ones has purchased uh, the software, the full package. Uh, we will uh, have Monday webinars, every Monday, private webinar. And uh, please uh, pin me it so I can go ahead and send you the new link for Monday webinar. Uh, rest of the week, we are here on a YouTube. Uh, every day, almost from 10 to 12, sometimes a little bit early, sometimes a little bit late um, uh, after 12, but uh, the, the, the hours are between 10 and 12 every day, Tuesday to Friday. During those hours, you're very welcome to, uh, we try to um, explain what's going on in the market while those auto trades are, are uh, trading. And uh, we try to highlight what's going on in the market. And, uh, uh, and then uh, we can, um, um, uh, sadly, there is a lot of traders don't understand. There is um, sometimes uh, the market is um, not tradable. And uh, traders don't understand that. So when we see there is a, a, some a really, uh, uh, when the, uh, when we see the market is a, is a troubled, uh, then uh, it is it is smart to to stop for a while till we find a new direction on that. So right now you have on the box here is very clear on that chart where you see there is a possibility for a re-entry at your own risk on a sim. And um, here on the market analyzer, you will have the signals, direction of the signals, uh, pullback re-entry, here is the number to 278725. This is a pullback re-entry and on and on and on. So it is very, very, very uh, uh, huge uh, to, uh, to, for whatever you need, because in this 2018 and we are going to, to 2019, the market has has got very complicated and uh, now it is not uh, one system um, uh, can hit it all you know now different instruments require different approach sometimes different timing uh, require different approach and uh, monday become and the fridays they become extremely uh, volatile and um, so it's not like it used to be before you just uh, ignition lift off and uh, we are on the moon. It's no longer uh, the, the trading uh, like that. Uh, so it got complex. It got, uh, you have to be aware what's going on. And the same time, the algorithm and the math has mm -hmm. become very well advanced. So a normal uh, ATR, MACDs and all this nonsense is no longer valid in this market. Uh, so we will be, uh, as you see, let me explain to you what's going on. Uh, as you see here, uh, we had an entry on the uh, ES. Here is our target. The market came in with the auto trade to the market. And I personally like to use an ATM. On the ATM, I can move my trailing stop, my target. I can, but you can use the fully automated. Uh, this week, we have tried the fully automated. And it was, it was boring as hell because I couldn't interfere with the trades. This is one example. I mean, if you are on a fully automated, you'll have the entry target and you're finished. But, um, and then uh, your target was here. You nailed uh, $1,000 on a couple of trades. That's very fine. But um, this one here, there is much more to it than just an entry and a target because right now we are going back to uh, the pullback re-entry, you know, and um, this where um, you need to, um, you can re-enter the markets on those pullback re-entries. One of the tricks is when you see those uh, ES, uh, going like this, your your indicators now start pointing to the negative, you know, whether MACDs, ATRs, all those. Uh, but the reality is not negative. The reality is a pullback re-entry. 
and this is a very fine line between uh, reversals or a pullback re-entry and a lot of traders they can be uh, mis mistaken by those so what we try to highlight is that telling you this is a pullback this is not a short trade here this is just a pullback while everybody jumping on the wagon to go short we will uh, be estimating uh, to go re-entry point around uh, right now uh, we have uh, around 9175 this is a re-entry point so this is a very very different than uh, what you you are used to and it is very efficient on those pullback we have a lot of traders using the pullback on the pullback your chances of uh, taking those trades are um, make a winning trade out of them they are eight out of ten so this is a very serious matter uh, on the pullback re-entry and um, and uh, you cannot just um, uh, ignoring uh, the the efficiency and um, at the same time um, for the ones that don't know that if you see those two yellow lines here I don't believe in oversold over bought indicators what about supply demands and all this nonsense um, I don't uh, believe in um, you know uh, double top double bottoms all that it is uh, considered uh, to see you know if we are on a fib line but it's nothing you can make a living off but what we have come out with two yellow lines one in the bottom one on the top so when the market comes in between those two yellow lines it's telling you uh, that there is no more long trade you know and a plus when there is on top between those two lines uh, there is a resistance level uh, this is uh, from our zone you can uh, subscribe monthly on on those that is uh, gonna give you uh, you're gonna be dismissing a lot of bad trades once this market enter this dangerous zone and if you decided to go long on this area here your chances on that trade is two out of ten so it is a very high risk uh, entry once we enter those zones here and this is a very we simplify that a very simple way where we can get, get a normal guy uh, don't have too many years experience in his back and uh, we can have him understand a couple lines and what is the entry what is the trailing stop so uh, the things is it does not have to be complicated it has to be um, simple for that trader uh, to practice with a couple lines and uh, get it over with. Um, again, for the our members, uh, Monday, uh, uh, that the link has been changed, and uh, uh, for members only, uh, we have a lot of required people that wanted to come into our uh, private members. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, we you cannot. We have done that before, and we had some. Uh, very, uh, very ugly uh, uh, people came in and uh, they tweaked everything we said in the, uh, in the webinars. And uh, so we no longer uh, have that good heart. Before we had uh, the room uh, for many years, we didn't charge one dime for it. And uh, somebody's butt was hurting and uh, they came in and ruined it for everyone. So uh, we don't do that anymore. Uh, we stay public from Tuesday to Friday, uh, nothing to hide. And um, Monday, it will be for traders only, uh, the ones with the full members. That's it. Again, for the ones who just join us, on the great chart, uh, we will put some uh, trades for you. Uh, if you want to follow those, you are very welcome. I don't want to call any trades and um, say I call that trade or do this trade or no, 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 no. You either can follow that signal, uh, the ones on the first column, or you can follow this one here. And when I see some kind of reversals, because I'm a, uh, I'm a reversal guy, I love a reversal, but the reversal require a little more training 
because if you don't know how to trade reversal can really get you and uh, this is a perfect reversal uh, sell entry and this is a perfect reversal uh, is out of the band double resistant I mean this is money talking so at the moment if we look from the reversal point of view the market is a stuck uh, on those area here is your mid band followed by a lot of support area so the market now is a hidden between target one and target two which we said and we have covered those uh, those uh, usually during the week uh, the, they they hit those targets uh, between 11 and 12 but on a Friday they do uh, hit uh, early uh, in the day and then it is over so we'll stay quiet till we get some a new signal and then later on we will be covering some of uh, the other automated trades the swing trading and all this um, for uh, for any questions uh, for our uh, traders uh, you're beside the link you just uh, skype me on the link and uh, we'll be more than glad uh, to send you the new link uh, but uh, write that on the skype we can uh, send it and then uh, if it's anybody in the trade uh, uh, or has not taken a trade uh, you just let me know but please don't tell me to come in and log in and look at your setting when I'm on a live trade and uh, uh, and all those technical questions I cannot answer when or log into your computer Sam come in log in I mean you know uh, we cannot do this when we are trying to be uh, on the Today is Friday and it is uh, very nice to finish today as early as possible and get it over with. It's been a long week. Sure, uh, you all get the new link. Uh, the ES uh, don't think it's gonna be a very uh, hard short is a pullback folks is a pullback and if you are on that short trade from the right corner you need to close at uh, 2792 9, uh, 9250 folks 9250 this is where you need to close uh, yeah welcome sir you know, Vito, I need uh, your help. Uh, you're an Italian. I have an Italian guy. I tried to do the installation. He had the, the small Surface computer, which I have one. I use it in my travel. And he has connected four screens in it. And now the crash. And uh, he really needs help with the Ninja Trader and charts. And the guy is totally need help. And I've been translating from English to Italians so I would like you to meet that guy and maybe can give him a boost he did not know that he can even close ninja trader uh, at night you know he's scared to do he's a very nice guy but uh, <laughs> I strongly recommended him he wanted to go live on the decks and I I had to tie him down actually you know so um, he's buying a new computer finally he give in and he's buying a new computer and when he gets the new computer maybe you just teach him the basic that he can close ninja trader at night flatten out everything so he will not get in trouble and then he want to start at eight o'clock he's in italy but i mean the germans uh, market is different you know so 
those are small things. I couldn't get it. Uh, so uh, if you can help him with your language, I'll be uh, grateful, Vito. I know you're going home uh, to Italy this weekend. So we... The pullback, folks, now is uh, 27.9250. Pullback long, pullback long. Uh, there is no short. There is no short, please. Don't let those guys fool you. There is no short. You can take a short and exit somewhere here as a scalping. But uh, there is no short for a uh, big trades, no. This is exactly, guys, if you wanted to take it again, uh, this is a pullback re-entry at 92.50. This is a pullback re-entry on, on 92.50. Look, you see that?
uh, this is a good question. Sorry, uh, this is um, uh, this is uh, your entry, the one I called ninety two fifty, and you can you can go one point or one and a half point uh, below that. Okay, so this is a very nice entry to the take. Did you take that trade? Did any of our traders took that trade? Well, I'm sorry, I had the microphone uh, off. I'm, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, for the guys are on the straight, uh, nail it at 99.50. Uh, uh, there is a 97.50 right now. You can close it or you can close it at uh, 99.75. It's up to you guys, you know. Uh, let me know how much you guys made on this one. Plus 200, thank you, Sally. Uh, what, what about you, uh, Fernando, 2.9? 92.25. Okay, you just tell me how many ticks you get. Good. You, you're out, Saleh? Fernando, you're staying, I'm sure. Your blood is thicker than... <laughs> uh, ben, you've been on the ES from the beginning. Lovely guy. Welcome, Vito. Forty one takes bin. You know what you need to do, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Run with uh, to your wife with your laptop <laughs> and uh, let her look the numbers and say, You think I'm sexy? <laughs> Do I make you horny? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, Fernando, I'm sure you have no integration with women. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is Friday, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean, sir? Uh, okay. Uh, whatever it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. I'm picking on you.
Uh, well, my lady, let me see. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. You know, women know how to trade. Um, women are, I don't know, I find them, um, I think they, they are better traders because they, are, they, they grew up managing uh, the husband and the children and the house. So they, their brain is a little bit, can, you know, manage two three things at the same time we are men we we are a little bit maybe different i don't know but i think in my opinion women are better traders they are more disciplined now i'm gonna get hammered from the man but uh, that's reality i said the truth i don't care women are good traders Really? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, Fernando, uh, the, the other guys, there is no more pullback re-entry now. The party is over, you know. The, the sky is open one time. It could be not two times and three times. Now we have a pullback re-entry at this point here, 93.50, but don't touch it. Don't. It's a, it's a higher risk area right now. And uh, don't do it. Okay. I can see there is a plenty of re-entry. <laughs> How did you know? One of the guys said, why you're saying this about women? Is your wife beside you? Yeah, she's right behind me. That's why I'm scared to death, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, she don't care. There is a poor, uh, there is a pullback re-entry right there. <laughs> No, uh, my friend, really, they are good traders, you know. Funny, I had an Australian guy, uh, many years ago he knows everything about FIPS he knows everything about trading he bought a lot of books he he read every book came out he bought all the videos he over boost himself with education that he couldn't trade anymore he always can find a reason not to trade uh, and this is was uh, six seven years even if you give him a system, he wanted to know how it works behind the, the, the scene and all this. So the guy was a very well educated, but he couldn't trade anymore because he, he got uh, his light bulb confused with all kind of strategy to trade. So um, that's uh, before we went public, right before we went public um, a few years ago. Then I told him, um, uh, put your wife online. I'll teach her how to trade, you know. Which he he built a nice office for him and his wife to sit on the desk and trade with each other. But I don't know what happened to the guy. Um, but uh, I told him, give me your, let your wife come in online. I'll teach her how to trade. The guy couldn't trade anymore. This is a pullback re-entry, but I'm not calling this one here. It's the same re-entry, uh, Amigo. And um, I don't want to do it anymore. We took uh, the first pullback re-entry. And uh, now I'm expecting this market to drop. It's getting tighter. And there is no use. Now um, I want to see this uh, area here. 
uh, a breakdown so we can uh, find a new uh, entry on the uh, on the short train so uh, the party is over on the pullback re-entry folks and uh, we'll start looking for a new signal uh, Flamingo I'm, I'm Fernando how much you got out of that trade the last one We have so many Fernandos. The party is over on this one here, guys. It's finished. We're looking for a new signal. Twenty three takes. Lovely, sir. Thank you. Uh, Tony started early and uh, he left. He said he's been getting his butt kicked on a Friday. So he got two hundred seventy dollars. And then what he did, he said he's closing his computer and going running out of the door good way to do it yeah <coughs> i don't want to call this one anymore i don't want to call pullback you can see it guys it's a pullback but i don't want to call any more pullback now i wanted to uh, short out the market it's finished uh there is no more Now is uh, that is the end of that trend. So now, if you if you want to, you can. Uh, we need to start looking for shorts, guys. The minute we cross that area here, we're gonna have a new signal. And uh, once we have the new signal here, it's a Friday today. You gotta be careful. Now this market is really diving into those here. The the trend stop one and trend stop two. And immediately, guys, you can see it on the scalper is getting his ass kicked on the 115 um, takes is getting really his butt. Okay, now start uh, covering. But uh, there is a little stress on the on the scalp in here. And um, I don't want it to do anymore. Uh, now we will go. We don't want to go long anymore. The party is over. I mean, we hit the target earlier today right in line and then if you notice guys after we hit the target nothing has happened start losing momentum we went from that level 2800 we start uh, flirting with the 98 level and then we start going down to the 95 level and now you can see it start it's like dying on us we don't want to deal with it anymore so uh this is right now struggling areas i don't want it to trade i don't want to guess what is going to happen into this trade but uh, the, the party is over to the long side to cut to cut the story short the party is over and now we need to go short so we'll see how we uh, the short once we break this area here a re-entry and a support line the, the final uh, floor and fibs uh, then uh, I think we are looking for a very nice juicy short trade you know, and um, we'll see what will happen.
If you notice guys on the ES, we came in exactly to the same entry we have called it the first time. And this is uh, one time, two times, three times, but I don't want to take it anymore. I don't want to take it anymore, but you see how accurate and how clear it is. If you know how to read that chart, you see how clear it is where the ES is, is, is troubling, where the ES is, is a really confirming the support line and it's getting weaker, it's fine, but uh, this is the key, the 91.50. And when a lot, most of you have re-entered the market from the 91.50 uh, and, um, and you exit it, that's fine, it's finished, it's over. Now it's sell. Once we cross this bad area, you see how the agony about taking a trade and it's not going anywhere. It is, you know, it's aggravation, you know, but um, I don't want to deal with it. I want to see this uh, ES going below those numbers here and then we can take it short. It's all, it's finished. <laughs> At the moment, uh, we are on the last uh, entry, uh, we have uh, 242 takes, 243 takes based from the last entry signal, 22 takes ES, 20 takes ES, 67 NASDAQ, which it was much, much more. Ben, are you still on the NASDAQ? Uh, YM27, 26, Russell, 4, 30 year treasury bond, gold, Yesterday, after we, I did, I just don't want to, I was really, I had uh, tons of work uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, Ben uh, stayed and, um, and I think right after we closed, he hit, he hit a lot with it, but I was really, I didn't have the patient yesterday. Yes, uh, Ben, that was from yesterday, wasn't it? And um, uh, after we left yesterday, uh, and uh, this was not from yesterday, Ben? Do you still have the one from yesterday? No, I think this is the one from yesterday, Ben. Or if you still have it, send it, but I'm sure this one you sent me yesterday. It is, okay. After we closed yesterday, this is, uh, it was from yesterday, okay. Uh, after we closed the webinar, I wish I stayed uh, longer, but um, we had tons of work yesterday. So the ES uh, nailed 1,800, 1, how many takes? Uh, okay, and uh, the YM 800. 55, okay, there are really 74 ticks on the ES after we closed yesterday, I mean, I, I, mean I, I, I had some other commitment, 74 ticks after we closed uh, the early yesterday, 451 ticks on the NASDAQ, holy, and the CL 37 takes. This has uh, been, um, 
screenshot. Oh, okay. I'm sitting here and a day sleeping. Uh, there is a new signal on the NASDAQ. A new signal on the NASDAQ. 74 ticks yesterday. Wow. Okay. We have a new signal on the NASDAQ with the auto trade folks. And now we are about to have a new signal on the uh, um, uh, ES. Okay. Okay, we have a new signal on the ES. Good morning, Chief. Thank you. When the market goes from one direction to another, it takes time, you know, it's like you're, you have to think about it, uh, Ben, it's like uh, when the boat, a big boat trying to make a U-turn, those uh, V shapes in the chart, like it used to be in the old days where the market hit and go back, those uh, V uh, shapes is no longer exist. Uh, because the internet and the market flatten out a lot. And uh, now we have some guys that go in and out within seconds. So those uh, V shapes are no longer very rare. You see them anymore. Uh, so now uh, the market takes time to turn around. It's not uh, like it used to be. Uh, so when you have a signal, you have to be a little bit more patient um to probably get it digest uh somehow you know but uh sometimes we have the trade that goes in right straight in and um, and sometimes like fridays mondays those are the worst days fridays and mondays one of the things if you wanted to see if this market is valid or not 
we have a double resistant right there. This is can make me uh, get a little bit comfortable that uh, this market is going to be rejected. And as you see right now, uh, that uh, the 0.925 is a struggling market, you see? So this is my first defense and this is my second defense. And actually this is a re-entry point based on the breakout pullback re-entry, uh, the 1450, it is a very genuine uh, place to re-enter the market. But if we notice how this ES on a double resistant and is a flirting with that double resistant trying to penetrate that wall right there, you see? So this is can, can sometimes look, you see? You see guys? So sometimes the market it doesn't, it's, it's, it's so obvious. And if this one didn't work, why this movement? How many traders they got knocked out of that trade? I don't know, 100,000, 200,000? I don't know, Friday today. And this is a re-entry point. So if you wanna try to be, uh, taking manual trade, I will not take uh, two uh, trades at the signal. What you will do, you will take one trade with the signal and then you take one on the re-entry because on the re-entry, then you level out your price and you get a better price than what is the signal sometimes. And if the signal fired a trade and the market kept going, hey, you know, we have nothing to lose. But however, if this market pulled back, this is so obvious we have a re-entry at 1525, you know? So for me, I don't wanna run two horses right away. I will put uh, one at the signal and then I will go back on the re-entry. This is an opportunity for the re-entry at 1525. And this is also a re-entry point at uh, 2550. You know, there is no long in, in here. There is nothing but pull back and short. And that it is, um, and you can see, you know, those, those uh, your $35 zone, actually if you order it, uh, annually is uh, $30 a month. It's less than, it's, uh, what is it? It's like $27 a month or something, uh, you know? And uh, those they can ease out, even if you are auto trade to see where is your limitation on those uh, ES and um, any other markets. I don't know. So, We only have the ES and uh, the uh, NASDAQ, but uh, the YM is just falling asleep. There is nothing in there. So. Is there any news? Uh, let me see. Oh boy, 12 o'clock. Okay, we still have, uh, we still have one hour, it's too early to put us on the, okay, this one here is finished. It is finished. Here we go. Right there. Oh. 
Okay, everything is ch changed, okay. Uh, no, I have not. I'm sorry. And it's like the one from yesterday. This one was from yesterday, Ben. Because I had to step out of, uh, out. Uh, I was not around the computer. What time was that? Uh, it's eleven. Wow. That's uh, right before 12 o'clock. It was 11.49.06. Uh, ES97 takes NASDAQ 555, 555, 555, 555, 555, 13,000, you know, uh, guys, this is uh, from uh, Ben, I'm not, what is my gin? Okay, hold on. If somebody tell me I got this on a system, probably I will not believe him. But this one is coming from our customers. Don't take my word for, for it. After we close yesterday. I don't have a screenshot, okay. This is uh, the chat from uh, our uh, customer Ben and uh, the system you can see from his watch he have a red one I knew there is something wrong with you uh, uh, eleven forty nine zero six with a, a red watch eleven forty nine and uh, based on the last entry it was. Uh, 1,411 takes, $13,000. Okay, well, it looked like, Ben, you're gonna sleep on the sofa tonight. Uh, Danielle, yes, uh, for the new auto trade, we are on a full speed with it, and uh, hopefully we will be uh, showing that um, uh, on um, Monday. Uh, I need to redo my Ninja Trader. Um, it's, uh, it's time to clean it, and um, I will try to put the new installation, and uh, and we'll get it ready for Monday, yes, sir. Probably not next week, the week after we will be running it uh, live uh, on a YouTube here. Uh, we run it a few days without the filters and then we run it with filters. So um, I'm going to make sure everyone understand how to use that uh, new auto trade. Uh, very easy to use, but uh, I wanted to release it when everybody knows how to use it. I'm not gonna release it and then teach you how to use it. <clears throat> for the, uh, only for those guys are eligible for the auto trade will get the auto trade.
there is nothing on the plate right now. We're gonna stay quiet, get a fresh coffee and uh, uh, coming right back.
uh, for the ones uh, they don't know what to do with the ES, I don't want to call a trade and say I call the trade here or there. You're very welcome to follow that uh, chart, the gray one. And uh, maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger so you can see the numbers. And uh, please follow on, um, on a sim. We're not responsible for your trade. Is it better this way? We'll take it one notch a little bit more. So you can see it. And uh, you're very welcome to follow that one. If you want to for scalping, uh, you can scalp the market on this one here. And uh, the ES, uh, and it is a uh, base on a limited order. You can follow uh, this one here because right now we don't have a signal. And I don't want you just to sit down and uh, get yourself in trouble. So maybe that will help you guys. As long as you are doing it on a sim, don't hold us uh, responsible for any of your trades, folks. It's an education purpose only. The market is going up and down. We'll see what will happen. Nothing. Uh, the the ES is going here back and forth between those two lines. Uh, the resistance is 96.75, the support is 91, and it's going up and down, up and down. There is not much to do. But in the meantime, you can scalp the market, and I put some numbers for you on the gray chart. And you can uh, very welcome to follow that one if you want to. And I use uh, 15 takes a stop loss. And you can use a trailing stop, or if you want to use 10 takes a stop loss, I don't care. Because now if you look at this entry, the entry is based from the resistance at 96.50. So uh, if you want to use 10 takes a stop loss on it, uh, try to train yourself with it. Or 15 takes a stop loss, you can do that. And then uh, once you see yourself, you're, you want to break even, a break even, don't get me involved with your break even trades. And, um, you know, better than the, to sit down for an hour waiting on a new signal, if you want to. Now you know yourself where is uh, the support line. The support line is 92 level. So you can exit at 92 level if you are following that trade. It's very welcome. Because the market not moving, so if you want to scout the market 50, 75, 50, 100, better than nothing. It seems like, you know, there is a problem uh, breaking those area. Oh, okay, Pablo, uh, let me see. Yeah, yesterday I sent you chat uh, to, I think uh, uh, I wanted to uh, access to your computer one more time today, Pablo. Now watch this one, guys. Uh, the 30-year treasury bond is flattened out. And uh, let's see if we're going to get a new signal on the 30-year treasury bond. 
that can I have an impact on the ES. So let's see how this uh, uh, 30 year treasury bond, now we are in a buy mood. Probably I missed that signal when I went to get coffee. And um, we'll see what happened. We're coming again to the same support area at 91.25. So you can scout the market, swing, uh, trade the market. We'll see. Seems like the market moving. The minute we break that area here at uh, uh, 900, we're done. It's gonna be, let's see if we are able to break that area because this ES has been on the same level for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, how long? So we'll see. It's the same setting as yours, uh, Ben. There is not much. Uh, you know, you can uh, you can turn off the trailing stop, and then it works on the fibs.
be careful, guys. We're not out of it yet. On the ES, on the NASDAQ, yes, we are out of it, but not on the ES. On the NASDAQ, we are out of it, and the cells start coming in. And uh, But we're not out of the wood yet on the ES, folks. No, 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 sir. You know, there is um, your trailer and stuff, you can turn them off from here. You turn off the trailer and stop, uh, and then it, it works with the fibs. Uh, the NASDAQ uh, is uh, is okay, but we're not out of a danger with the, with the ES yet. Be careful, folks. And the YM also right now, uh, uh, it is a clear, very clear on the YM, the entry. And it's not late to take that trade on the YM either. Uh, if you want to take the YM, put it... Um, uh, 491 limited, 491 limited sell, you know, because there is a support line here, you put it at um, 92 or 91 limited sell order, and please follow us on uh, SIM, uh, we're not responsible for your trades. And this is an ES. Where are we going to put everything? Let's see. Then now you can run with your laptop. <laughs>
Oh, I wish. I know. I know my luck with the, the lottery. Yeah. Nine hundred seventy million. Oof. Probably, you know what, Ben? I think I was in England many years ago. I think it was England or Scotland because I go very often there. A lady was an older woman, won I don't know how many millions of pounds. And then they were asking her what she want to buy. She said she wants to buy a new iron and a new iron board, you know. And probably she couldn't understand the, the, the amount she got, she got, you know. Who the hell want to have an iron board, you know. Yeah. Probably an older woman or an older man will get it. I don't know. We have a reversal on the NASDAQ and uh, we have, does not mean it's off, but uh, you gotta be looking at that number. No, there's no, the, never mind, it's over. Never mind. Now we figure out Ben, Tony was uh, the one, um, Straight down. And that's why I like the ATM. Maybe we can get more than what the target. If this market is uh, a little bit genuine today, so generous with us. There is a projection here at uh, 78, 75. Don't let it scare you. There is a sell off everywhere. And there is a projection on the ES, and um, don't don't let it bother you. It's gonna go right through it. Keep your eye on the projection with the ES. It's eighty three twenty five. Study that number, please. Eighty three twenty five. Okay. Uh, the auto trade target is uh, on the NASDAQ. There is a new signal on the DAX. I don't know if you want to deal with the DAX over on the Friday. Uh, the tar there is a projection here. You got to be careful, but the target is uh, 65.25. On the ES is uh, 81.75. There, there is a double projection, one on the NASDAQ and one on the ES. So look at those guys. Look very carefully on this. And uh, the probability this market pulling back to the 86 level, and uh, you can re-enter the market 86.50, 
or 8675 is right there in the gray. You can follow those trades. This is the pullback re-entry. The pullback re-entry on the NASDAQ is right there. As we speak, it's 83.25 or 83.83 83 level, you can be re-entry. You're out, Ben. How many takes? What did you trade? NASDAQ, how many takes? How many ticks on the NASDAQ? You see where's the pullback re-entry? Right there.
Fernando, 58 takes. Okay. Yes. And uh, you did uh, 23 takes earlier, or this total 58 takes. Or is it on that on that trade only? Ninety two ticks on the YM Fernando. And then you got uh, twenty three on the ES and uh, ninety two ticks. Oh, Fernando, you're going to have a lot of holy bully tonight. Oh, boy. You have life, Fernando, isn't it? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> it's a Friday. You live in a nice country, sir. <laughs> Yes, Fernando is going to party today. He got uh, the first trade, 23 takes, I think, 58 takes, plus 23, and 92 takes on the YM. Why, what you're doing behind the computer? Go have fiesta, Fernando. For the pullback re-entry on the ES, you can do this one here, 84.75. <laughs> okay. 
uh, have a nice weekend, sir, and uh, mucho gracias, and, um, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you on the Monday webinar. Well, he do both, uh, Daniel. He do both. Okay, I'm gonna stay. Uh, we just, uh, this is a pullback re-entry on the ES and um, we'll stay a little bit longer for those guys to see uh, if there's any of our traders still in the market. It, does anybody have an opening position? Any of our traders? Skype me, please. Common. 90 takes. Are you out or are you still in? Carmen got 90 ticks on the NASDAQ chart. Okay, fair enough. Any other traders still in the market? I'll stay with you. You're out, good. Anyone else uh, still in the market? Um, I'll stay with you. We have a couple of visitors. Uh, they want me to stay with them on that trade. We will. You're welcome, sir. And uh, we'll make sure that uh, they, they are fine with that trade. And um, a lot of people need help. And we are glad to help everyone. Thank you. You know, guys, most of you finished and leaving, uh, finished for today. Give us a thumb up before you start running away from us. And uh, there is still a few on the last trade here. We stay with them.
the cost and the government's cool down more or whatever, so. Is that right? It's sensory trauma. Oh, yeah. Jeg vil prøve. Pull back again. So there is a new signal on the 30-year treasury bond uh, short. That's mean the EIS is going to go up, folks. That's it. The party is over. Uh, guys, uh, every single trader, even some of the guests uh, that were with us today, uh, they Skype me, they are out of the trades, everything. Everybody happy, everybody did very well today. Thank you very much. That's really makes me happy. That's the whole purpose from uh, our life trade is uh, helping every trader for free to get to know who we are and to get to know some we met a lot of nice people and it is good it is good to meet uh, people with our level and uh, and i i want to thank you for all the e nice emails we got and all this um, uh, support we got and uh, we will uh, continue uh, helping every single trader uh, as much as we can, life, uh, and uh, really, uh, it, it was really nice. Um, and then I just want to say, uh, wish you really, really, from the bottom of my heart, uh, today, every single trader made money, and uh, that really made me happy. Uh, and uh, I know those traders are uh, going to have a nice weekend. Uh, I want to say God bless you all. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, we'll see you on um, uh, Tuesday. And for our members, ask for a new link for Monday's webinar. Uh, the minute I said the 30-year treasury bond signaled a uh, sell, that ignited the ES, which we knew exactly the party is over. And uh, no use to give it all up for Friday afternoon. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, get ready. And uh, my advice to some traders, do not sit behind a computer on the weekend trying to do replay and all this nonsense. Uh, you need a little break from the market. It is very healthy. Uh, it's not healthy to, to be behind the computers uh, on the weekend and day and night because your your head start getting fogs in it. You know, your is foggy. Uh, you need to stay and step away from the trading to get a clear head. Uh, try to enjoy your weekend. Um, and then uh, uh, try to get come back uh, to, with a clear mind uh, on Monday, but do not overwork yourself because it fires back at you. You know, this is my experience. I share my experience. So, and I have no business. I, I say it the way it is. So guys, uh, now there is a new signal and all this, but we're not gonna go through all that anymore. Folks, uh, God bless you all. Wish you a pleasant weekend. And I want to say especially thank you for uh, all the uh, nice support and uh, nice emails we've been getting. Bye for now.